In 1985, Mr. Go Chok Tong had a vision. A vision to build a platform for people to speak and be heard by the government. This was how the Feedback Unit was born. In 2006, the Feedback Unit was renamed REACH, reaching everyone for active citizenry at home. This rebranding signified a shift towards making sure citizens get a chance to engage with the government beyond giving their feedback. What began with simple feedback sessions in a conference room and written letters from members of the public has turned into a host of platforms. We went to the ground, to the heart of where people live, work and play. This was the origin of our listening points, physical pop-up survey booths that encourage members of the public to talk to us right where they are. Our supervisory panel members, coming from all walks of life, served as advocates of REACH's mission in the community and provided invaluable guidance through the years. Currently in its eighth term, the panel continues to support REACH's efforts in creating opportunities for Singaporeans to connect and contribute. Our team started 2020 going into uncharted territory, speaking to Singaporeans who may have been missed in national conversations. But when the pandemic hit, we had to abandon old ways of engagement to explore new avenues to reach out virtually. We have targeted groups such as aviation and flight crew, healthcare workers, teachers, property agents and private hire drivers that were hard hit. We also piloted our first series of virtual conversations done entirely on Zoom, bringing together Singaporeans to discuss key national issues related to COVID-19. Sign-ups for the REACH WhatsApp chats also spiked during Circuit Breaker and there are now over 1,000 contributors. What's next for REACH? REACH continues to pilot new ways to reach out to citizens from different backgrounds, prioritizing groups who may not have been engaged, as well as assuring citizens that after 35 years, REACH is still there to listen to them.